The preaching is the law's been abolished. It's been nailed to the cross. It's been fulfilled. It's been done away with. Uh, Jesus kept it so you don't have to. It's a no law theology. And I come back to 7 and verse 23. Then I profess unto them, I never knew you. Depart from me, you that work iniquity. Basically, you that have a no law theology. We are delivered to do all these abominations. So I'm asking, are religious people guilty of playing church? Would God ever deliberately deceive religious people? Are there people who want to believe a lie? And I'm asking you about the lie you want to believe. What is the lie about God that you want to believe? What is the lie about God's law that you want to believe? When you go to church, what is the lie that you're wanting to believe? Are you wanting to believe that you've been delivered from all that? You've been delivered from the law of God. Is that what you want to believe? Is that the lie that you're wanting to believe? You know, God is an awesome God. He has absolutes. And because he has absolutes, he allows people to believe a lie. He allows people to believe a lie because he has absolutes. You know, God sort of works in a peculiar way. He'll, he'll, he will lead you along. He'll show you a little bit of truth. And if you accept that truth, he'll show you a little bit more. And if, if you accept a little bit more, he'll show you a little bit more. But the moment you start wanting to believe a lie, the door is slammed in your face. Don't ever forget that. He doesn't, don't ever forget that. And don't ever assume that God does not have absolutes, because he does. 